Let's learn about the angles formed when a transversal cuts two lines. Here, L and M is the pair of lines and T is the transversal. Transversal intersects line L at point X and intersects line M at point Y. And we can see here that eight angles are formed. Angle 1, Angle 2, Angle 3, Angle 4, Angle 5, Angle 6, Angle 7 and Angle 8. We can see here that at each intersection point we have four angles. So around point X we have four angles and around point Y also we have four angles. Here we will take one angle from intersection point X and one angle from intersection point Y to form pairs of angles. Based on the common properties, pairs of angles are named as corresponding pairs of angles, alternate pairs of angles, consecutive interior pairs of angles. Important point to note here is we are using the word pairs here and pairs is plural. That means you will have more than one pair of corresponding alternate and consecutive interior angles. Let's discuss about corresponding angles. The word corresponding here refers to angles in matching corners. Now what are matching corners? Well, if we pick angle 1 from the first intersection point, then the angle in its matching corner will be this angle which is angle 5. Why are we saying that these angles are in matching corners? We can see that both angles, angle 1 and angle 5 are towards the left side of the transversal and also these angles are towards the upper side of the given pair of lines. So angle 1 is on the upper side of L and angle 5 is also on the upper side of M. That is why angles 1 and 5 are in the matching corners or they are corresponding angles. Here we can have 4 pairs of corresponding angles. One pair is angle 1 and 5. Second pair can be angles 4 and 8. Then we can have angles 2 and 6. And the fourth pair can be angles 3 and 7. Next, let us see what are alternate angles. Here the word alternate refers to on the other side of the transversal. So if we have two alternate angles, one will lie to the left of the transversal and other will lie to the right of the transversal. And if one lies to the right, then the other one will lie to the left. Alternate angles are of two types, alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles. Interior angles at point X are angle 4 and angle 3. So we can write here angle 4 and angle 3 and interior angles at point Y are angle 5 and angle 6. So we can write here angle 5 and angle 6. So alternate interior pairs will be, we will take one angle from here. Let's take angle 4. So this is angle 4 and the angle at the second point which is on the other side of the transversal as compared to angle 4 is angle 6. So here our first alternate interior pair will be angle 4 and angle 6. We can see that angle 4 and angle 6 are interior angles and they are on the different sides of the transversal. Similarly, 
Other alternate interior pair will be angle 3 and angle 5. So here we can write angle 3 and angle 5. These are the two alternate interior pairs. Similarly, exterior angles at point X are angle 1 and angle 2 and exterior angles at point Y are angle 8 and angle 7. So alternate exterior pairs will be angle 1 and angle 7 and angle 2 and angle 8. Let's now see what are consecutive interior angles also abbreviated as co-interior angles. Here the word consecutive means lying one after the other and because these are interior angles so we are concerned with interior angles only. So as already discussed interior angles at point X are angle 4 and angle 3 and interior angles at point Y are angles 5 and 6. So we'll take one angle from these two. So let's take angle 4 here and the interior angle from the second intersection point which is consecutive to angle 4 or lies after angle 4 is angle 5. So this will be angle 4 and 5 are consecutive interior angles. Similarly, the other pair of consecutive interior angles will be angle 3 and angle 5. So here we can write angle 3 and angle 5. Let's summarize what we did in this video. We paired the angles from two vertices by the transversal. We identified corresponding pairs of angles as the angles in matching corners. We learnt about alternate pairs of angles as the angles on different sides of the transversal and we also saw that alternate angles are of two types, alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles. We learnt about co-interior or consecutive interior pairs. These are interior angles lying next to each other.